Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and we're on that 30 days of WrestleMania, and holy crap, we made it. It's WrestleMania 30 um, from New Orleans. Our buddy Eamon from the show was attending this one, uh, and uh, this is the first time watching it back since that first time you know, with everybody at a party, you know, so a little different context. And I was really able to kind of pick up a little more. Um, it was really interesting to watch, say, the Brock Lesnar um, Undertaker match, especially knowing what was going to happen, right? And seeing that and knowing that he did, you know, supposedly got hurt for real in this thing. It's kind of seeing where's the point where, where it looks like he's been knocked loopy, right? And and it really was a tremendous match, you know, flat at the time because, you know, we were in this party setting and we're like, oh, whatever. And we're like, ah, this is awkward. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, and just seeing the reaction i love that they waited so long to play the victory music to let it sink into everybody it was just just perfect perfect timing perfect everything and just amazing and just that end scene with daniel bryan winning everything and and just goes on for like 10 minutes it's one of the greatest things that, of course, um, you know, similar to the scene of WrestleMania 20 when we had the new guy, the people's favorite, you know, really kind of coming out on that one. Um, and it, 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 WrestleMania 30 was the story of Undertaker and was the story of Brock Lesnar and was the story of Daniel Bryan. You know, again, you know, kind of cap bookending that, that thing at the beginning and the end and overcoming uh, the last two eras of big guys uh, in in this case, and even that match was tremendous. I love the storytelling there. Even when even when when Brian was out of the picture, and you're looking at the interactions between Batista and Randy Orton, um, everything was left on the table. Starting off, of course, they'll get the goose pimples when it started off with the rock and hogan and austin in the middle of the ring and all that history there i know some of our younger people on the show uh always get kind of uh you know him and ha over the uh, nostalgia factor but you know what the nostalgia factor is for real and the nostalgia factor is what's keeping me interested in this thing is keeping everybody else into it and uh will continue to for years and years and years because these guys personified the history, and we see that with the Hall of Fame. And um, it, you have to do this, especially at thirty. You know, um, you know. I, I, I was always miffed that WrestleMania ten didn't have Hulk Hogan, and now thirty we do. Um, and I'm trying to remember through this whole thing if he showed up at at, at twenty or twenty one, right? Uh, I think he, he was. I think he was at twenty at least in some aspect. Was that the Muhammad Hassan one? I can't recall. But uh, somebody's going to answer me, I'm sure, or I could just Wikipedia this thing. But still, tremendous story there. And also, oh, even all going back and seeing uh, Cesaro be completely awesome in the uh, Andre the Giant Invitational in this thing. And uh, unfortunately, he's relegated to the kickoff show this year. Both the Invitational and Cesaro, he brought it with him, um, but uh, it, with his tag team match. But still, you know, there could be a future in any of that, and and we'll see. I think it's it's still a career highlight for that kind of thing. And another, another dominant showing by the Shield, and now the Shield is all over WrestleMania, and we'll see what they can do and how how they pop up now that they're spread across the card, and not like a match that didn't really last that long. So let me know what you thought of WrestleMania 30 as we're heading right into WrestleMania 31, or maybe it's just passed, and now you have all your, all your thoughts and decisions on that one. Let me know, uh, Sorgatron on the Twitter, at Mayhem Show for the Twitter for the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and go check out uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com for all the things we're doing, and subscribe to us on YouTube as well. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.